So you made your debut in 94 wrestling for various promotions. Uh, tell me about the training process. What was that like? Uh, well, I mean, I had some old school training um, and it, it wasn't uh, just, you know, you just finding somebody at your local training center. Uh, I really did some research. Um, there, there wasn't near as much as there, there was now. I did some research and um, I even tell the kids today that, that I work with, you know, you don't know how lucky you have it to have it in your backyard because I, I went to a training center that was three and a half hours away from where I lived. Um, so number one, what I was going into it with was the dedication because I was, I had to be 100% serious about this uh, and know that, you know, if I'm going to do this, I got to be all in. So I, uh, I found a training center, as I said, I'm around the Cincinnati area. I found one in, uh, Marion, Ohio. And, um, and that was led by, uh, Charlie Fulton, who had some, some, uh, some time in, in, uh, WWE, but. The reason I, I um, chose that is I, I looked into the credibility of schools. And back then, one of the bigger uh, uh, schools was the Monster Factory. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came out of that and, and started his own. So, um, so yeah, there was a lot of big names that had come out of that. So, yeah, once a week, um, I would drive three and a half hours um, up there. I'd get my butt kicked for two to three hours. And then I the same night, I'd drive back and had to be back up for work at five in the morning the next day. So um, it was, it, it was, it was pretty grueling and, you know, taking the beating that I did, but um, you know, that's, I, I, I kind of, I'm glad that I had to go through that. I'm glad because I appreciated it even more. Yeah. I mean, they kind of had to show you some tough love and, you know, I, I imagine it was very hard. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I was in there and I, you know, took the abuse like everybody else, but I was, I was really schooled well on uh, the wrestling part of it um uh you know as far as you know uh reversals and counters and you know just thinking of the wrestling part of it um but i didn't know at the time that I, I there was a lot that i was not not getting and uh after about a close to a year doing that um i wound up uh hooking up with a more of a local uh school that um i, I started working working their shows and i uh started kind of fine tuning everything I had. And that was, that was with uh, Roger Ruffin. He was a, um, he was a, a referee for WWF back in the eighties and early nineties. And, uh, you know, he was right alongside with, you know, the, the Hebners and, uh, um, Yoda, uh, you know, those guys, Corderas, you know, g g guys like that. I mean, yeah, he, was, yeah. he was running right with those guys. So, um, he had a lot of experience and then Roger, what he did with me is, he kind of started teaching me the psychology of wrestling and, you know, and, uh, you know, not only what to do, but why you're doing it and when it, it pl is placed the best. And so, yeah, I just, he kind of fine tuned me. So I really, I really did learn a lot um, going into that uh, school as well. Yeah. What pieces of advice did you get from your trainers? Oh, wow. Um, that's so hard to remember what they would say to me at the time. Um, um, Things that I you kind of took away from it. Yeah. I mean, I was just following their lead. Um, I did. Uh, so I trained in 94 and got, uh, got started at the end of 94 and then uh, 95 came around when I was uh, the, the training facility that I had in Marion, Ohio. Um, those guys had a contact with uh, WWF uh, with um, uh coming in for like extras and enhancement talent mm -hmm. um that kind of thing so those guys can kind of had the where if, if it was anywhere local not just local i, I shouldn't say that because we traveled a lot but they they had the end as far as uh being in for for things like that so i did try that once i went on one trip with them and i i did get to wrestle a couple matches in 96 mm -hmm. uh with wwf and of course i got my ass kicked but uh <laughs> it was good experience but yeah I really wanted to try to try to do something with it. And I didn't want to kind of fall into that pattern of, of getting a reputation like that. So, so I hit the Indies, man. I mean, I hit the Indies and hit it hard and try to get as much experience as I could. Um, that's, that's a lot of the advice I give today is, you know, get out there and just get as much experience as you can with matches. And um, I even, I even tell them, you know, it, even a bad experience is still an experience, you know, they're not all going to mm -hmm. be good. So um, no, of course. yeah, I just really hit the, hit the road, man. And I, and did the Indies for, for a long time. 